it's important because it's a really uh, accurate and detailed method of recording something. It's also quite quick, which is important in the commercial world because it means we can get out of the way quickly, but also we're more cost effective. Um, so we uh, are generally asked by clients to uh, record something uh, for the purpose of uh, say planning permission or it might be something particularly complicated that we found on site and photogrammetry is often just the best way uh, to record it. 3D modelling originally comes from stereo photos uh, so you just have two photos taken of the same object uh, from different positions uh, and that would allow you to then take measurements off of them. Uh, it's a technique that's been around for a very very long time um, but over the last couple of decades uh, things have started improving so you can add more and more photos in so you actually start getting a full 3D model. Uh, in the last few years that's really come a long, a long way to the point where it's now at the stage where it is at the moment and it's become a very useful technique for archaeologists because we often deal with very complicated things and just drawing them or photographing them doesn't really capture them in their full kind of essence. So having a full 3D model of it, not only is it visually useful, but actually it's for outreach, so um, showing off to members of the public to get them engaged in archaeology, get them interested in it, also showing things at events, um, and it's useful as just a, a record of what it is. So what we have here is a model of Porchester Castle. Um, it's been created with a technique called photogrammetry. So that's essentially taking lots of overlapping photos of an object. You then run that through a piece of software and you get a full 3D model of whatever it is that you've recorded. The great thing about photogrammetry is it can be used on anything from something really small like an artifact or something very big, uh, like in this case a building. Um, and it's highly accurate and it's highly detailed. So if we have a quick look at this model, I can show you some of the detail that we can get. So if I zoom in on this model, um, you can see that we actually start to see individual details uh, of the brickwork, um, and as I scroll along, zoom in a little bit more, you can see each individual stone of this wall is visible, um, and this sort of uh, detail is very useful for um, understanding how uh, complex buildings such as Porchester Castle have been made up. Um, so if I scroll along, you can see that we've got multiple phases here of, um, of building work, and because we've got the detail, we can actually see um, how those things fit together as if we were there in real life.